Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Beauty. I'm going to do a product review for you today here. Um, this product review has to do with um, obviously my beauty assistant which is none other than my gorgeous and beautiful Doberman Pinscher. As everybody has seen in my previous videos, he is my beauty assistant and my helper. Okay, um, now with that having been said here, um, these products here are apparently for dogs. Okay, um, my beauty assistant, which like I said is my gorgeous Doberman, has recently uh, been to the, uh, has recently been very sick, very, very, very sick. And uh, we made a trip to the emergency clinic about two and a half weeks ago. And he had suffered a very bad, serious bout of the bloat. Okay, and the bloat is no laughing matter. It's no joking matter for large breed dogs. And when you think bloat, you know, you think no big deal because you would think as like in humans, you know, you get a little bloated, you get a little overstuffed, you know, you know, you know, you recover from it. Okay, well, in dogs, it's very serious condition. And if you leave the bloat untreated and things go really wrong, the dog can die from it. And I have been part of the Doberman community for years and Doberman clubs. And I unfortunately know a lot of wonderful people that have lost their Dobermans to gastric bloat. The stomach actually flips. The, the stomach will flip and the blood supply will be cut off to the stomach and the stomach will actually die, therefore killing the dog. Um, I could get into better medical terminology with you, but I would be here for 20 minutes giving you some explanatory video. Okay, so the purpose of these food bowls here is to slow down the dog, therefore preventing the bloat. The bloat is brought on by gulping the food, your dog um, eating too fast, gulping up the food, taking in too much air, just gobbling the food up, uh, choking on their food, regurgitating their food spitting the food back out and gobbling up a few more pellets, particularly with dry food. Uh, some of the larger breeds do this. And I've been procrastinating for years to buy these bowls or not, but I never really realized how fast my Doberman was actually eating. I mean, I knew he was eating fast, but I did not realize that he was bringing on these bouts of bloat. Okay, so anyhow, we went to the emergency clinic and um, I paid $800 <laughs> veterinarian bill I wasn't very happy about, but yeah, I had to check him out. So basically, he's doing better now. So, um, and I, I went, the vet was really dumb. The, the vet was a total, she was an idiot. And she had no advice to, you know, prevent these reoccurring cases of bloat and Especially, particularly this last case of bloat, that just this gastric bloat that built up with him was horrendous. He was so sick. It was unbelievable. So, um, I've been procrastinating for years to buy these. I knew these were out here. I knew they were in the animal community. I knew they were for sale. So, I went ahead and got these because in efforts to slow him down from eating so fast and gulping his food. So, yeah, here we go. I bought this one, and this is called the Flower Bowl. This is a slow bowl, slow feeder. Promotes natural eating habits, helps prevent bloat, regurgitation, and it prevents canine obesity. Uh, made with high quality food safe materials. And this bowl is in the size large and it is a purplish color bowl and it's in the shape of a flower, as you can see. And it won some type of award here. Let's see, it's the best in show at the Global Pet Expo 2014. Uh, Becker's Best. Okay, so it wants on top of a ward. Now here is the bowl here. This is for large breed. And as you can see, it has this flower maze-like design. Um, obviously, it's designed for uh, the food to go within the grooves and around the little uh, pokey parts, <laughs> uh, whatever you call those. And this is an effort to slow the dog down. This is supposed to slow the dog's feeding time down to approximately eight minutes. Now, it slows him down tremendously, and it has been working great. He has been using these bowls for about seven days now, and I paid $15 a piece for them. 
and this is a large one like I said and I do like the backing of it because it has a um, rubber non-skid and it still does slide around on the floor because I have tile flooring but it does not skid and slide too much so it's it works fairly well so there's that one here's the next one the next one here is really cool like maze like swirl design if you will and here's the box for this one. Like I said, I paid $15 a piece for them, so I spent $30 for two bowls. And I bought two because I wanted to see which one he preferred. And I alternate from um, lunch to dinner, dinner to lunch, back and forth. And he really enjoys both of them, so I really can't say which preference uh, my beauty assistant has one of the over the other. He loves both of them. So here's the box of this one. This one's the Coral Slow Feed Slow Feeder. Um, you know, yada yada, it says the same thing the other one says, promotes natural eating habits, helps prevent bloat, regurgitation, canine obesity, and it's made with high quality food safe materials. So yeah, it's supposed to have the healthier type of plastic that doesn't have all the, you know, the BPs and stuff in it. So yeah, there's that one. And this, like I said, is for large breed, obviously, Stubberman Pincher. And yeah, I'm very pleased with these. He's been using these for about seven days so far. They have tremendously slowed his eating down. It, this was an extremely scary experience for him. It was extremely scary as just scary experience for me because the bloat is a very, it's very dangerous. And a lot of people don't think it is, but please, dog owners, be very aware. The bloat. Uh, particularly in your large breed dogs with with your large deep chested dogs with the barrel style chest such as uh, my dog Doberman Pinscher, the Rottweilers, the Weimaraners, the Great Danes, the um, Golden Retrievers, the Labrador Retrievers, the Weimaraners, yeah all the large large deep chested dogs with the barrel chest on them which there are many I could name them all day I'm somewhat of a dog expert but we'll be here all day and night so anyways so I'm going to conclude this portion of the video here and what we're going to do is we're going to move on next and my beauty assistant is going to be demonstrating the slow bowl feeders okay so take care I'll see you in just a few be back in a minute okay everybody hello real beautiful beauty here back again just filled up the dog bowl and we're going to be demonstrating here the flower bowl and I'm being kissed by a gorgeous Doberman which you can't see you can probably only see his feet okay anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and set the bowl down and let my gorgeous beauty assistant demonstrate which after having used, used these bowls for seven days, he has caught on very quickly within a few seconds of me actually putting the bowl down for the first time. And he is eating a lot faster, but what I have done is I feed him now, I feed him three small meals a day, three very small meals a day. And he's doing much better with that. Uh, traditionally, for the last several years, I have been feeding him twice a day, which obviously was not working, and he was gulping his food and eating too rapidly, and he was getting the bloat. So he's eating fairly fast here, even though this is a slow bowl feeder, but compared to the way he typically was eating, this is rather slow. This has slowed him down tremendously. And I only feed him a very small amount at once. Like I said, I'm now feeding him three times a day, morning, afternoon, and night. And I've really cut back on doggy treats or snacks or anything like that because with the bloat, you do not want to overfeed at all. Um, you also want to never ever feed your dog within one hour of before or after strenuous exercise. So do not feed your dog before they exercise. Do not feed them after they exercise. Always give a time frame of one hour of feeding, feeding them after they exercise. Wait one hour after strenuous exercise. Or you can wait one hour before exercising. Feed them before exercising, one hour before, or one hour after exercising. 
because strenuous exercise can bring on a bout of the bloat. Drinking too much water, gulping too much water as well can also bring on the, the bloat. If he eats his dinner and then he just drinks a ton of water, don't let them do that because water can just fill up the stomach as well. And like I said, this is a very dangerous situation, the bloat. And uh, gastric bloating with these type of dogs can turn the stomach, twist the stomach, torsion of the stomach. The stomach can flip. Like I said, the blood supply can be cut off to the stomach and the dog can actually die from it. So it's very serious. But these are really great bowls and he really loves them. And they act as a um, interactive game, if you will, some type of interaction. And they really keep the dog mentally stimulated and it slows them down. And mainly that's what you want to do. Like this big, beautiful beauty assistant here, you want to slow him down. And he just really, he enjoys himself. And I only gave him a very, very, very small amount of food, as you can see. And he just, it slowed him down and he's really taking his time. And I really do like these bowls as well. They're very easy to clean. I just run them under, I run them under hot, um, hot water for a few minutes. Soak them in hot water. Just use, you know, some, uh, oh, some Dawn or... I think I use Ajax brand of, of liquid, you know, uh, just to dish, I can't even think. Not dish detergent, but you know what I mean. Palmolive, Dawn, Ajax, that type of stuff. Just your liquid, liquid stuff you clean your dishes with. And I just scrub with a little bit of that, hot water. They come very clean. I think they are dishwasher safe. Now, I have not ran these through the dishwasher yet, so I can't tell you how well they do or don't do. I just hand clean them. They're just easy for me to hand clean them, and I just um, use a paper towel to dry them out, and it works great. And I bought two bowls, so I can alternate between the two. Yeah, he's just about, he's just about got all the food out, and there's just about probably seven or eight pellets in there from what I see and um, you know it's just a really cool looking flower maze and I really do I really really recommend these bowls I think they work fantastic um, his indigestion is so much better he ha does not have half as much gas on his stomach uh, no, no more stink bombs blowing me out of the room if you know what I mean so yeah, it just, and he, there's no uh, belching or burping like he was doing previous before when he was just gobbling his food up with his traditional bowls. These are working fantastic. I really do recommend these slow feed bowls. I think they are kind of pricey. I did pay $15 a piece for them, but um, you know, I, I paid $800 for my veterinarian bill and a $15 bowls a piece prevents you from getting the very scary case of the blow with your dog you know possibly could have prevented a $800 eh, yikes veterinarian bill but totally worth it I'm not complaining I'm just wanting to help everybody out here that has beautiful dogs um, you know you just want to take care of your best friends you know what I mean your canine friends I mean my dog is the best and um you know he's my beauty assistant and he is just he's unbelievable i just i can't say i can't say enough i i, I just love this big boy I, this boy yeah i love him he's my baby so yeah he gets really excited here and um and i really do like that it, it slides a little bit on the floor but it doesn't slide like a traditional bowl you know it does have those grips on it as you can see i do have tile flooring and it slides around a little bit but he he's totally in control he's he's a big boy he's a big doberman pincher and he's totally in control of it and he really enjoys them so yeah I, just, I know this probably turned out to be a long review here but um i hope it helps and i hope those of you that have it, had any experience with their dogs and the bloat or if you know about this this is a terrible condition and it is just totally no laughing matter it's very serious and the dogs get very sick from it
so yeah you want to do everything you can to slow um, your friend your best friend down slow their eating so they're not gulping in all the air and um, just not inhaling their food and he actually also had a very bad case of bronchitis and I really suspect the case of bronchitis was from him inhaling and kind of hacking up and regurgitating some of his food just overexcited eating too fast traditional dog bowls are just not working for my beauty assistant here so yeah so how do you like it honey yep doberman pinchers done um now i've recently bought online as well the anti-gulping water bowls so i'm going to be doing a demonstration as soon as we get that and as soon as we try that out we'll let you know how the anti-gulping water bowls work so I'm, I'm kind of skeptical of the water system I'm not sure how well that's gonna work so yeah we'll have to see hopefully it works as well as the bowl so yeah I hope you enjoyed the review have a great day Mwah. much love take care now